Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, I will be reviewing the OXX Cosmetics. I'll be doing a full face of this makeup that retails for under $4. This is what they look like. So I went into Kmart the other day um, and I walked past the beauty aisle. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird. I am getting a cold. So if I sound funny, sorry. So I already pre-filmed this video, but I didn't like how it went. It didn't go well. So I'm excited to give it a second chance and just review it again and do everything a little bit differently from what I did at the beginning. Um, so let's see if these products are a hit or a miss. Okay, so first off, I grabbed the Mineral Primer and it is in matte clear so it comes in this cute little black and white packaging so i'm gonna put this on my face and last time i put um, a whole heap of this on my face when it was not needed so that product comes out clear and i'm just rubbing it into my face i didn't put a lot on the texture is very oily so We'll see how we go. So now let's move on to the brow. The eyebrow pencil and this one is in black and I got the eyebrow kit in medium. So I got this one in medium. Fully outline my eyebrows with the pencil and then I'm going to go in with the product. Just to let you guys know that all the products that I got were um, what they had so I pretty much picked everything up off their um, shelf so we're just gonna have to work with what colors I got I tried getting as close as I could but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll just see so the pencil feels really good it glides on really nicely my eyebrows are like a dark brown um, so using a black is kind of a bit overpowering okay so they're all nicely lined now I'm just going to take the spoolie on the end and just kind of brush it out now I will say that the pencil is really nice to apply but it uses a lot of product so that's how much product it's used Okay, now let's go into this brow kit. I'm going to take my Zoeva brow line angle brush and I'm just going to take the darkest. I can already say that I love these um, brow shadows. They are just so pigmented and they glide on really, really, really well. So those are my eyebrows I'm done. I do have really dried lips. I don't know why. I just always have dried lips. So I'm going to put this lip primer on my lips. It applies like a normal lip balm. That's what the packaging looks like. Um, it does have a weird smell to it. it oh! It literally just broke. That just broke. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Let's do foundation. So, um, as I said before, I just picked up what they had. Up this matte foundation in light. They only had light or they had dark. So, let's see if this works. my skin tone. I'm going to apply this foundation how I would any of my others but it's not really like I'm dabbing it on my face and it's kind of not it's not sticking. I think I might just do my full face and then I'll see how I feel. Okay so I have applied the foundation on my face and the foundation itself I mean, it was pretty hard to work with. I had to just do everything under the sun to try and get it as even as possible. Still 
see my red blemishes um, under the foundation is quite a good buildable product. It has ripped on to some of the dry skin on my nose. Um, so the primer it didn't really do its thing but um, other than that it's not bad. I don't hate it. I would probably use a different primer and my professional from Benefit. It's just not bad. We'll just say that it's not bad. So I also went and got this contour stick. But the set that I got is in light. So I got a contour, a contour stick, and a concealer stick, I guess. And then I also picked up a concealer and contour kit. So I might go in with these two and see how they go and if I need extra backup I will go in with these. So this is in the light in the cream. Okay. So first off the bat, um extremely oily to apply. I'm having to push on my face to get the product on there if that makes sense. Now for the contour. It is the same. That's the sticks done. I think I'm gonna jump into this concealer contour kit just to outline my brow. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. They don't have any names on them, so I'm just going to take this, and that is really, really creamy. Let's see how it applies on the face. Oh, it applies really well, actually. Okay, cool. So that is all done. I feel like my contour isn't as dark as I want it, so I'm gonna go in with the darkest one. Just gonna take on the same brush and just go over that. So let's go ahead and see how this all blend out. So far, so good. Okay, so I am loving the contour sticks. I'm a bit, you know, half and half with the concealer, especially the one under my eyes. I think it's too bright and I can still see that it hasn't covered my blemishes, so that's kind of a bummer. So, moving on, I'm just going to go in with this cute little face powder set. So cute, but they're so small. I'm just dipping into anywhere, to be honest, because the pants are so tiny that I can't get this big ass brush to fit in one little square. So, I'm just going with all three. The powders did help a little bit with the creasing and with that oil. They worked really well. Um, I personally think that I would use them as eyeshadows instead of face powders. So, yeah, but other than that, I like them. Let's go ahead and apply the eye primer. Now, the packaging is the same as the um, face primer, I mean, they're really cute packaging, I must say, the black and white. I'm really loving it. So, let's go put this eye primer on, and I can definitely tell you guys that the eye primer is the exact same as the face primer. It's off as an oily base, and then it goes down into a matte 
but ever so slightly. That for me is the same as the primer. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really use it again because yeah. Okay, so I bought two quad eyeshadow sets. This one in summer pudding, and then I got champagne quads. They just come in a square little packaging with a logo on the front, and it's just see-through and plastic. And I ended up getting these two eyeshadow duos. Got these two, the green and the blue. I uh, sort of went out of my comfort zone and getting those ones in this cute little round packaging. The first off, let's go into champagne because I'm really digging this white. So let's just set all this goodness. Moving on guys to Summer pudding and I'm gonna take this brown and use it as my transition colour, so like my base colour, start everything off and I didn't even swirl this in the pan that much, I kind of just dabbed it and that's how much product came out and they are very pigmented. Just bringing that all up to my crease and just blending that out and they blended out really well as well. Really surprised. I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow right here on the outside of my lid. Just like that and then blending those half I think I might do like a cut crease eye, sort of what I'm feeling. Alright, cool. So I just pleated that. That isn't like the best cut crease ever. Go in with this blue. Okay, so that is all applied, but I'm really wanting to try out this eyeshadow. Right, put this in the middle. I don't mind this eyeshadow look to be honest. All eyeshadows blended really nice with one another. I was really happy and to apply this eyeliner pencil that I got. Um, it says it's a navy, so let's do this. Now I'm going to go in with this um, gel liner. So it comes with like a little um, brush. That you sort of stick on. So that's quite cool. Um, and then you just obviously take that off and then go in with your product. She's just got up from her sleep. I was trying to record this video as quickly as I could because she was sleeping. But she's awake now. That's fine. Say hi. Okay, so I just applied the eyeliner. Um, all I can say is that the gel liner itself is really, really, really good. Um, but as for the brush, I wouldn't recommend the brush. Maybe use a different brush. But um, I did, you know, do a tug of war with the um, wing liner. Got two lip products. One is a lip gloss in burgundy. The other is um, a lipstick in Bentley. This is what the Bentley looks like. It's like a pink color. Um, I've already used this in and I don't like it at all. It's so sheer and I just don't like it. But I love the lipsticks. It's sort of, it's really nice on your lips. This would be handy for in your bag and you know, if you wanna just pop on a lip gloss like this would probably be my go-to if I had it in my bag all the time. So that is the finished makeup look. I wish they had highlighters. I mean, they probably do, but I didn't see any. That would have also been really nice to um, review as well. Um, overall, I loved majority of the products. Um, a few things that I didn't like. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you guys leave and definitely hit me in the comments to see what videos you want me to do next. I hope you guys liked this review slash 
first impressions video and I'll see you guys in my next video.